Um, no. as one of our as one of our gaming, um, you can hire rookie cause CAWs, credit wrestlers, mm-hmm. uh, for my GM mode in the new WWE game. And one of them is called Al Citraz. And he's yeah. dressed up as a prisoner. It's Alcatraz. Ah, uh, yeah. There's no A after the C. Uh, so obviously, this person's going up against Dominic Mysterio. Get the hell out of here. Of course. Really natural. Prison uh, Dom, yep. You did, you did good, kid. You did good. <laughs> For some reason, I sound like Mickey from the Rocky movies. Man. Anyway, so this is Act 1. Yeah, chill. Yeah, Act 1 is done. That's it. First level's over. We now can commentate the sleds with the four right, reindeer right, we yeah. have. Yeah. Look at that. Reindeer pride. There we go. Look at us go. To Dr. Chill. <laughs> <Brian laughs> <Sutherland>. Fucking terrifying. <laughs> The fool, he actually thinks he can find his way to my fortress. <laughs> well, maybe we can slow Just him down. Just toss over the air there. Great okay. stuff, lads. Launch the slave-seeking missile. Ah, uh, yeah, the new spinning gun. Yeah, the slave-seeking rockets. Ah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, like the the total, yeah, the realism is just dead. The nice. Okay, so now we're up, now we're on an island after a clear terrorist attack in the air. I I, yeah. I I gotta ask. Right, I'm gonna guess this is some sort of character. You know, <laughs> if I see if I see some black character come up in the most defensive gear possible, I think that might be it for me. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to control. Oh, Jonathan's face <laughs> confirms that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> he I, doesn't know I, what's coming next. He Island Odyssey. Oh, this is oh gonna no, be it's fucking gonna be filled with black people. Oh, <laughs> 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 nope, it's, it's a pirate duck. Why are they for sale? Snail. Is that the. S- the snail from SpongeBob? I have no idea. <laughs> if it is, I think Gary's actually upset at his price tag. A dollar shows me where X marks the spot. Mind a buckle around. How many customers does he get a day to wonder? I probably very few, I'd say. I mean, I mix up that shop music because that's gonna drive you mad. <laughs> that's probably why people know no one like sticks around because it's so loud. Probably get a lot of robberies though. Because I mean, black people. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> and Jonathan's uh, Jonathan's <laughs> editing is gonna be off the charts. Yeah, oh, man. To be fair, gonna... he, he, he he did keep that. Uh, there's a lot of black on black crime joke in the uh, the episode yep. of uh, you. Like, you, are, you so have been like born. Like... Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> I told you we should have gone to Majorca. They don't accept no buckets from orangutans. <laughs> you didn't have to tell a travel agent we were orangutans. Yeah. Yeah. You could have said, it's okay, baby. I'm just a baboon with outrageous dress yep. pants. And we would have been on the beach by now. Yeah. <laughs> we spent the last three months on the side of the road. Oh, my God. I mean, what kind of holiday is that? Oh, my God. Shut up! This has to be the most boring place I've ever been to! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey guys, what <laughs> is happening? It's even worse than I predicted. It's even worse. I bet yeah, it was that. actually worse, you know? <laughs> I expected some like. <laughs> Like it's like Dumbo, but worse. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 
I know, right? <laughs> like, holy fuck. Wow. God, there was so many things wrong with that. There was so <laughs> many... Like, uh, there was... Like, is he holding an inflatable banana? You yes, know, he is holding a banana, yeah. <laughs> That wow. Was, that, oh my god. <laughs> I, where do you fucking start? My, racist, my jokes wow. don't even remotely even come close to how offensive <laughs> that was. Yeah, like there's there are levels to this to this racism and that was fucking it. Like that was the epicenter. <laughs> like Wow. Like between like between them being stupid, <laughs> between them speaking jive. Between them, like, with the whimsical music, so they're obviously the comic relief, can't be taken seriously. This, like, it's ev it's offensive on every fucking level. Like, and again, the fact that it's completely played for laughs. Like, Aaron is so upset, he's actually got the fucking washing uh, machine out to drink Get from. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby, you want to date my sister? No? And then we've got a stomach... Now yeah, we have a stoner bunny. So... Maybe you're looking for something else. Well, I, I got these mighty fine pedalos right here. Only ten dollars each, man. I'll even throw in some fresh reindeer meat. That <laughs> yeah, he just picked up from the crash site. Yeah. Special air delivery. You bother me. So we now know all those reindeer are something. dead. Rudolph. Okay, so. Don't think, can I? Can I just reiterate that you are playing as a child, yeah? Yes. So we've already had been hit on by an adult woman, been yeah. peddled drugs by a bully, and blatant racism. Blatant racism, yeah. Dude, that wasn't even blatant race. That was that was fucking Jim Crow levels blackface type racism going on there. Like that was <laughs> that was a racial that was stereotype. Queen, that was three monkeys on an island with a banana <laughs> speaking jive like God in heaven. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yep. My nan was racist. I even think she'd be like, that's. <laughs> that's a bit like. Now, come on. I wouldn't have put that in my video game now, I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, one of them survived. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah, Francis survived. Fair to say, he let himself down there. Hey. Hey. Wow. <laughs> I bet yep, the people who fair. made this game currently vote for Trump. I don't know what they're doing now, to be honest with you, but I'm glad they're not making games anymore. Um... But I'll be honest with you, I don't think they end up making many, um, thankfully. Really? No. Fucking <laughs> 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 shocker. Yeah, I know, sand. right? <laughs> so a bag of sand, cocaine, stolen no, from but... a drunk or sleeping penguin. Dave, did you not hear? It's Indiana Penguin. Do you know what's coming next, Dave? Do you know I what, think do you I know fucking do. The... <clears throat> You know what's gonna happen next? Yeah, yeah. You know what's happening? There's a cave that he's sitting outside there, and uh, oh look, we might have yeah. to uh, the film reference. Yeah, that'd be great. There's gonna be quite a lot of penguins in this playthrough because obviously it's a Christmas-based game, mm -hmm. as you as you well it, know. So... It's a save tune. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Best Dave wants about this game. Is, is that, I just that want you to save the game constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they got the music right anyway, but the save tune. They, 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 yeah, that's literally the only pro to this game is the is a is a guitar riff. Yep. So he's gone into the fuck's sake, gone into the cave. Yep. Yeah. Well, do we got any more offensive shit coming up here? No, just just by like, if, if you find bad game design to be offensive, then um, see the rest of this <laughs> fucking game. This is the game for you. <laughs> yeah. 
I think I think we're through the war. I, I, when it comes to offensive stuff, I think we're through the worst of it. That this is that was the that was that was the yikes. That was the yikes. No, that's fair. <laughs> but uh, this is like a she lob job. Yeah. Oh, that might that might have been one of my favorite things. I I, I that was not in a quarter of a for how bad that was. That was fantastic. Yeah. Again, oh, that was, this was released pro ball. Like, there was no like like once this game was out, it was out. Like. Then, <laughs> so yeah, there's, 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 like, there's. like I could see it coming, but still, I was like, "What the fuck?" I yeah. thought it would have just like black screened or something like that. No, 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 no. They show you the fucking deaths in this game, and and. Like that's part of the reason why the the video code is this length, is that I have pretty much found most, if not all, the dead scenes. Um, <laughs> so, and if if I kind of skipped over any opportunity for for some, it's because um, basically it was, they were the same ones, or they were they weren't. Uh, I wasn't bothered waiting for them. <laughs> there, some of them were a bit of a slow burn, but yeah. This is just a very conspicuous part of the map where there's nothing happening. I just want to point this out for reference, for future reference. Definitely not a spot for a hidden treasure to appear later on. <laughs> just, hey, just, just stating that for the records. Just, uh, clarify. The Bob Marley knockoff music is a... Uh... <laughs> Gener generic, it's like, generic island music, yeah. It's mm. Caribbean, so it must be reggae. <laughs> Yeah, but I hardly think drum and bass is going to be a suitable soundtrack to a tropical island unless you're like on fucking ketamine. Yeah. But you know, it, it, it would help. That's all I'm saying. It would help. You know. Sorry, where is she going now? I am. Um, I miss an item crucially, um, but it will get us through the next area. And when when you see the item, it'll make so much sense. You'll, you'll know exactly uh, what you'll, you'll see. It'll make complete sense. Yeah, because it's the banana that they were holding, right? That you need to. No, no, we, we, we need to we need to do something else with banana. But um, obviously, the only <laughs> way to get through a spike trap is with a. That's right, Dave. A unicycle. Have to be spot on. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> of course that. Of course that's what gets. Of course. A fucking unicycle. Course, yeah. yeah. Jeez, lad, come on, it's pretty fucking simple. Like, I'm just, I'm just thinking, of I'm, I'm thinking of the top process here. Yeah. Could get, get us past the, the arrows. Unicycle. Boom, Unicycle. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> sure, I'm game for anything, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I mean, what, what, what can't be solved like having a unicycle in your life? Yeah, it's like, it's like the final reference. I have one, just in case. What about the Holy Stone of Clown Rickard? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 what can't be Same cured thing. with um, yeah. What can't be cured with Unicycle? Well, go by this game, Aaron. Racism. Uh, Unicycle <laughs> can't save us from this, from that, uh, somehow. <laughs> Where is the cave? Where is Indiana Penguin? It's Indiana Penguin! Holy shit! What the fuck, Spud? Go. Yeah right. Now, now we can now we can tackle the cave. Now that we're fully fully armed, Unici and you fully and unicycled. Go. We are unicycled. We are ready to go. Dun, dun, dun. Um, is it sufficiently spooky for you? Are you all there? Uh, obviously, no arachnophobics there. Uh, I'm more. Uh, it's not the arachnophobia. It's more. It's more terrified about what comes up next. Nothing to do with the arachnophobia. Just this game is so fucked up, I just can't tell. <laughs> this is very true. Right, equip no. unicycle. Yes. Well, no, we're not equipping unicycle, Dave. You see, you see, because we're a child, we need to know to do things for us. You see. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, it gets even better. He didn't even use the. He didn't even use the unicycle. No, I was just proving a point. Because this is what happens when I put him on a unicycle. A unicycle. A unicycle. <laughs> Wait for do you it. know what the gnomes look? Do you know what the gnomes look like? Uh, that human oh, version oh, of Brian in that one episode of Family oh, Guy. Only one yeah. Dead gnomies. <laughs> wow. Fucking yeah, wow. You, know. you have to sacrifice uh, <laughs> You have to sacrifice gnomes in order to get through the trap. Just oh my god, only one wheel. Dead no meat. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know why you just couldn't troll the bike at the string. So it wasn't a string, it's a, it's, a, it's a beam of light. So when the light is disturbed, that's when the spike trap hits. So that's why it wouldn't. Uh, I thought it was a string. Ah, no, it's not a string. Right. No. Yeah. So basically, when something when someone actually disturbs the light, is when it hits it. So obviously, ah. we're the right height for us to cross the, the beam. Again, if game was adequately programmed you could just like bend underneath the light but um you know obviously apparently not a fucking option and so, so we had to so sacrifice a gnome to the blood gods and so so what's happening here is there's a few programming problems with the game i go you'll be shocked to hear um and a lot of it is to do with the game overs so basically sometimes um items will respawn where you found them and sometimes they won't so this is me basically checking the unicycle didn't actually respawn, you know. Um, and we up reloading the game sometimes doesn't fix that. So I've had, uh, when I previously played this game, I've had moments where uh, essentially I've like, gone through this whole passage of play and realized that I missed one item and the place, the area is now locked out. So I can't go back in to get it. So this is me now uh, realizing I need another item. Toolbox. So, a toolbox. Oh wow! <laughs> oh jeez, it's a toolbox. Uh, I I know this is a little bit off topic, but I thought I, I just know you're gonna find it funny. Uh, did you hear about the about the families in North Dublin who said two green areas where Republic of Ireland footballer Matt Doherty played on when he was a youngster is going to be sacrificed to make way sacrifice. for the Metrolink. Yes, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Irish foot Irish footballing legend Matt Doherty. Uh, how how would this country survive with such? What's being sacrificed? A goat or a, or a sheep or? No, no, it's, it's green... just two green patches where Matt Doherty played football when he was younger. The very feet of Matt Doherty ran on <laughs> his blade. His blade of grass <laughs> touched Matt Doherty's knee. Matt Doherty played for Hibs. He's still fucking shy. <laughs> <laughs> build a, would build a fucking statue out the front for him now, would I? Yes, He's but we could muck. We will must protect his green spaces, Dave. <laughs> so if we said, don't have those green really... spaces, we won't get the next Matt Doherty. Do you not understand? <laughs> There'll be a big right back said, face hole in our squad. This will be like digging up a Native, a Native American burial ground. Anyone who touches the sod of this will spend the rest of their lives it's making little overlapping little... runs but never actually getting the ball. <laughs> anyway, give us another chance to enjoy this death scene. Oh, bicycle. Uh oh, only one wheel. Dead know me. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Dead know me. Phenomenal. Dead know. The fact he says, Dead know me. Then gets killed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh dear. It's a little gnome. And now we um, are going to have now again because uh, gnomes are useful to us, and that's literally how how we had to think about it. Yeah, sacrificial gnomes are what it's all about, you know. Absolutely. So now we can uh, go to work.
can build a bridge but can't ride a unicycle. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shit no. Shit no for wankers. Shit no man, I'm telling you. Shit no. You're dead right dead. So, uh, uh, if in case you were wondering about this uh, game studio and the people in it, um, I wasn't. But go on. <laughs> so this was so this was actually their their um, second game. So their first game. Um, they made be one big. before this, and then they got funded for another one. <laughs> I don't think they had funding as such, but clearly they were capitalizing on the success of. Super League Pro Rugby for 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 DOS in 1996. To um, but somehow they did actually have the license for Super League. This this crowd, um, and it's because um, nobody else yeah. wanted it. Well, I mean that that that's totally fair. Um, and even looking at the game itself, yeah, they didn't um, they didn't improve on the graphics whatsoever. Um, wait, didn't we just go through here? Yeah, this is what I'm saying about the game over thing. Like, the, a lot of things was default. They, the actual respawn points are quite awkward, and you have to do might have to do some of the puzzles again. But here's the problem, right? It doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't regenerate your stock of gnomes. So by having the game over, and even when you load, the gnomes sometimes don't come back. It's very inconsistent with it. I'll be honest with you, I just keep doing that because it's just, it's just ever so fucking funny. Yeah, it is, it, is a, it is a brilliant, it is a brilliant <laughs> finale. Yeah. Like, we can't deny that, to be fair. Um, Dead know me. Oh, only one wheel. Oh, God. oh, geez. Um, so, yeah, so the Super League Pro Rugby was their first game. Um, released in the same year was Spud, 1996. And, uh, nice. yep, racist, obviously. Um... Then a year later, two years later, was the spiritual successor to this game, The Quivering, which um, <laughs> which may appear in the future. Um, <laughs> the Quivering, okay. The Quivering, yes. That's, I can't no, wait for that one. That's a video on Pornhub. That's not an, a name of a video. <laughs> um, then they, they, they continued on then with the 1990 game Machines, which was basically like a mecha style RTS game. And uh, yeah, nothing said that. And then the last game they ever played, they ever made was Magic and Mayhem, The Art of Magic, which is another like role play strategy game. And there's the last game. Uh, they were out of business since then and they were bought out by, um, looks like Bethesda. Or at least there were publishers for uh, Bethesda Oops. anyway. Funny pancakes, anyone? What the fuck? <laughs> the way that was said was in such a quick. It was just like, oh shit, we need we need a quirky line for this one bit. Any pancakes, <laughs> pancakes anyone? Uh, it's a fluffy bunny. So, from what I can understand, from what I can gather from the game, this is the only time the pet bunnies have been useful. Okay, <laughs> it's either you or me. <laughs> Which is a problem because you get exactly four bunnies. So you use these four bunnies on these platforms and that's it. Like, they they gave you a full box of them implying that you need them over the game. No, no, you burn through your inventory here. And you don't have a, per a use of them ever since. Uh, it's a fuck's sake. Like, it's mad. So yeah, obviously you use the bunnies to see what the the uh, state passage is. 